Hello everyone, if you don't know me already, I'm Tara, the dance doctor, welcome to my channel. In today's lesson, I'm going to be giving you five simple sexy salsa shines um, that only last 16 counts. My uh, perspective is that when you're learning how to dance, I actually want to give you things that will serve you on the dance floor um, while learning long, complicated salsa routines is really good for challenging you in different ways and helping you improve your dancing and it's fun. Um, when we are actually on the dance floor, a lot of times we don't have more than 16 counts to do a shine and a lot of times if you're thinking about this salsa routine that you learned last week or, or yesterday and you can't remember it and then you're taking all the time that you actually have to do your shine trying to remember what you have. Um, so this video is about just giving you some really simple sexy things that you can do that will serve you on the dance floor that will be easy for you to remember because they're repetitive um, and make you really look great and really shine when you have a uh, time that you're dancing away from your partner, okay? Um, also, you may have noticed that I have my merch on finally arrived. So this is the sweatshirt. This is my shake it till you make it merch and I'm totally in love. Um, this is a small, the size that I'm wearing um, and it fits me pretty, pretty snug. So like if you like things oversized, I would uh, order a couple sizes bigger than, than what you normally wear, but I absolutely love it. It's so cute, comes in a lot of really cute colors. There's also racerback tank and a uh, t-shirt. So check out my merch. Um, it's in the, the uh, shopping tab if you're watching this on YouTube. I think it used to be called merchandise and they just changed it to shopping um, and you can click on the link there and shop my merch. It's super, super cute. I, it exceeded my <laughs> expectations. Um, so if you love my channel, you love my videos, uh, support me and, and <laughs> sport my, my merch. Um, it's super cute. My sister designed this for me. She's a graphic designer. So I absolutely love it. I hope that you guys love it too. Click on the shopping tab um, on my channel. Actually, I'll post the link also <laughs> in the description box just to make it easier, okay? All right, without further ado, let's get right into the lesson. All right, so the, although I do love my merch, I get super warm when I'm teaching, so I did have to, I didn't have to strip down um, how, you, how you normally see me, okay? So getting right into the first simple sexy shine that we're going to do looks like this. One, two, three five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, seven, okay? I absolutely love this one. It's super simple, but it's rhythmic and it's kind of different. Um, this is a traditional mambo step. So I'm gonna explain what we're doing. First, we're going to kick and then we are going to bring that foot across our body and that is going to rotate my standing leg. So I go kick, rotate, swivel, swivel, swivel. Kick, rotate, swivel, swivel, swivel. Kick, rotate, swivel, swivel, swivel. Kick, rotate, swivel, 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 okay? So similar to Echevarria, which is another one of our simple sexy shines that we're going to be doing today. So from a basic, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so everything we do today is going to be just 16 counts. We are using every beat for this one, so we are eliminating the pause that we use in the basic. Again, one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a one. If you're finding that this is challenging for your balance, I recommend that you pay special attention to what your arms are doing. A lot of times when we twist our lower body, our arms try to kind of counterbalance. And actually what we want to do is keep the arms 
still as if we're like actually holding on to something. I always tell my students, like imagine that you have something that you're holding on to because just that uh, mental exercise will help you improve your balance, okay? So the arms stay fixed. If you watch from the side, I'm going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four. My arms move as little as possible, which also helps me make sure that I'm not rotating my chest because this movement is not a full body movement. It's from the hips down, okay? So we do wanna make sure that we keep it nice and small, just twisting the hips and the feet and keeping the upper body facing forward and the arms still. So let's try that one more time and we'll do it with music. One, two, three. Here we go. One, two, three, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, six, seven, and one, two, three. Here we go again. One, two, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three. Last time. Here we go. One, two, three, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, six, seven, and one, two, three, six, seven. Okay, so now let's try that first one with music. shine. Oh, that's a lot of alliteration for you. Okay, <laughs> we're going to do the son basic. So it looks like this. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, seven. Okay, so let's talk about the feet and the rhythm. We are going from our basic. One, two, three, five, six, seven. On eight, I'm gonna step out to the side. So I go one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'm going to do two, three, four, hold uh, five, six, seven, eight, hold one. Two, three, four, hold five, six, seven, eight, hold one, okay? So I'm doing my same salsa rhythm, I quick, quick, slow, but when I go into son, I am changing uh, the counts in which I perform those rhythms, okay? And here, I can either bring my feet together or I can kind of rock back. The important thing in either case is that I am stepping just on the ball of the foot and then whole foot. Ball of the foot, whole foot. Side, ball, side. Okay? So we go from the basic. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, six, seven. Okay, just the basic way to express in the arms when I do this is just to continue to use my arms and my shoulders the way that I do in salsa. Okay, so I'm going eight, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, six, seven, and one, two, three. Okay, if you do want to learn some other variations, 
of things that you can do with the arms. Um, I do have a lesson on my Patreon page that is dedicated to a sewn routine that we learned kind of going from salsa to sewn and then back to salsa. Um, so if that's something that interests you, learning some more sewn variations, uh, check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash dance doctor. Okay, so let's go again from the basic. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, six, seven, and one, two, three. Here we go again. Eight, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, four, six, seven, and I'm back into my basic. All right, let's try that one now with music. Shine is going to be a Mambo Basic, um, which I teach a lot of the just the basic Mambo with the classic arms. Um, but in today's video, I want to challenge you to kind of think of different ways, or I'm going to offer you different ways that you can kind of spice that up and make it your own so that you're kind of uh, giving your mambo a little something extra because it is a great shine. If you forget everything else that you know, just tap, 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 tap. It's a great option. And then you can add some different styling things on top of that. So we're going to try one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, three, five, seven, one, three, five, seven, and one, two, three. Okay, so I just made that up <laughs> uh, off the cuff, um, and there are a lot of different options. So the first thing that I did, switching the arms. So instead of just staying here with my mambo arms, I'm gonna go waist and head, my favorite combo, two, three, four. We can also, one, two, three, four. You could bring the arms over the head like I did. One, two, three, four. You can shimmy. One, two, three, four. You could put the emphasis on the hip. One, two, three, four. Shoulder, two, three. There are so many different options, which is why I don't feel it's always necessary to have to learn new movements, but rather kind of think of different ways that you can express to your body using the movements that you already know. Yeah, you could do a head roll, two, three, four, lots of different options, okay? So let's just cement one in. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, hip, hip, shoulder, shoulder, okay? Just so you get a little bit of each one. I'm not gonna do the arms even though that's definitely an option for you. Um, you can kind of use your creativity, but I'm just gonna do this because this is kind of more what I would do if I were on the dance floor. So we're gonna go. One, two, three, here we go. We go one, two, shimmy, shimmy, hip, hip, shoulder, shoulder, 
Okay? So for the second two, hip, hip, shoulder, shoulder, I'm just keeping the arms out to the side. If you don't like those, in the time that I do that, you could do something with your arms. Yeah, there's so many different options, but we'll <laughs> use the ones that I'm laying out for you. So, one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, three, five, seven, hip, two, boom, boom, and one, two, three. Here we go again. We go arm, arm, shimmy, shimmy, hip, hip, shoulder, shoulder, and one, two, three, again, five, six, seven. Arm, arm, shimmy, hip, shoulder, shoulder, and one, two, three, last time. One, three, five, seven, one, three, five, seven, and one, three, five, seven. Okay? So now let's try those variations on mambo with music. to do today is a cabaret style Suzy Q. So it looks like this. We're going one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, and one, and five. Okay? So I'm doing my Suzy Q. One, two, three, five, six, Seven. On seven, I'm going to lift my right leg and twist to go into my Suzy Q. So without the arms, I'm going one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, and basic. So in the cabaret style Suzy Q, I'm putting the emphasis on this and, 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 yes, yeah? so lifting the knees, sending the hips back a little bit, okay? One more time, just the feet, and then we'll talk about what the arms are doing. One, two, three, here we go, and, bum, 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 and, bum, 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 and, bum, bum. And bum, bum, bum. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and, and, and five, six, seven, and one. Okay? Even if you just want to do that with the arms normal, that would be really nice. If you do want to add specific arm styling to this step, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. We are going to put the same hand as the knee that's coming up on our waist, and the other hand is going to kind of go diagonally out in front. We're not straightening it. Uh, my hand's kind of in line with my waist. I mean, I have short arms, but it depends on where your arm is 
bending, you want your forearm to be in line with your elbow. So not down here, not up here, not here, here. Okay? And we're kind of following the trajectory of our hand. And we're switching the arms at the same time as I switch, as I bring that knee up. Okay? So we'll practice it facing away from a basic. One, two, three, five, six, seven, and one, two, and five, six, and one, two, and five, six, seven. One, two, three, here we go again. And one, two, three, and five, six, and one, two, three, and five, six, seven. One, two, three, here we go again. And one, two, and five, six, and one, two, and five, six, seven, one, last time, and one, two, three, and five, and one, two, three, and five, six, seven, one, two, three. All right, now let's try Susie Q with music. to do Echevarria, and I've added some pretty arm styling on top. So we're going to do one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, and we're back to our basic, okay? So if you're not familiar with Echevarria, we are doing one, two, three, five, six, Quarter turn to the left, and I'm going to rotate my feet into this position. Then I'm going to do one, two, three, come back to the front, five, six, twist, one, two, front, five, six, twist, one, five, six, twist. Okay, so I'm going to do it from the side so you can see five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three. Okay? We're just going to do this twice. So we'll practice just the feet first. One, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, and back to the basic. And again, one, two, three, five, six, seven, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, and basic. Here we go. Seven, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven. Again, just like with everything, you can. Do this movement just maintaining your salsa arm dynamic um, as you do it in the basic. One thing before we add the arms that I find to be particularly important in this step is the focus. So I don't want to go five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. Okay? I'm actually going to leave my chin over my right shoulder so that I get more of kind of a flirtatious look as I do this step. So five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three. Again, just like in the other step, this will also help ensure that we don't over rotate our step and use the whole body. This is similar to the first one that we did 
It's just an action from the hips down, okay? So now with the arms, five, six, I'm pushing out, leading with my pinky finger, coming up, five, six, or sorry, one, two, three, I bring them down, five, six, push up, they're going to fold over my head, elbows come down, and I'm trying to avoid the microphone, so it's a little awkward on the side, but I come down my body and push back out, fold, elbows come down, push out, fold, elbows come down, okay? So that's the action that I'm doing. Let's try it with the step. One, two, three, here we go. Seven, one, two, three, and again, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, basic. Three, here we go, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, basic. Here we go, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, one more time, basic. Here we go, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven. All right, so now let's try Echevarria with music. today's lesson. I hope you had as much fun uh, doing the lesson as I did making it. I truly think that these are things that will really benefit you on the dance floor. Um, but also remember that in order to be able to do shines when you're in the moment, you have to practice them way more than you think is necessary. They have to really become a part of you so that when your partner lets go of you, something naturally comes out. Yeah, You might have three shines that are like your go-to. If you can't remember anything else, those things will just naturally pour out of you and that just comes from practice. That's why I'm always saying practice makes progress because it is absolutely the uh, principle that I live my life by. So do practice these a lot. Just, you know, pick your favorites. Probably you didn't love all of these or maybe you did, but pick your three favorites and just practice the heck out of those um, until they become a part of you. Make sure you check out my merch in the shopping tab. Also my Patreon page, patreon.com slash dance doctor, where I upload nine lessons a month, including a 45 minute dance workout done to popular music, which I can't do on my YouTube channel because of copyright uh, issues. Also, I have a quick tip Tuesday lesson that I upload every week addressing a specific uh, part of your dancing that you can improve and a 40 minute salsa class each week. So it is a great value. It's $10 a month. If you love my content here on YouTube, you can support me and get extra lessons by becoming a member of my Patreon page, patreon.com slash dance doctor. Also, if you have trouble with balance, arm movements, turns, uh, coordination, I can't recommend enough my 21-day dance camp train like a dancer. Um, it is a 
cohesive course that goes through each section of our body working on balance, lines and shapes, coordination, all that good stuff um, using jazz, ballet, and contemporary exercises that all pro dancers use at some point in their career. So do check that out. You can try the first three days free, clicking on the link in the description box or just go to dancedoctoronline.com and you can find all the course options that I have there. Um, I thank you again so much for watching this video. If you've gotten to this point in the video, thank you for watching the entirety and until next time, keep dancing.